Well, as we approach the midway point of the conference slate, teams in a loaded Pac-12 are starting to separate themselves. And that's the case here in the Willamette Valley as the Oregon Ducks, who now sit second in the standings, continue off the Michigan transfer back in her home state of Arizona, out of Phoenix. The 2-2 slapped opposite way. And just out of the reach of Kai Luchar in left field. Almost made a diving grab. Almost a highlight play to start this one, but LeClaire is on with an in, or I should say with a leadoff single. Dowd in the first two games of this series. As Kayla Lissy will step into the box, shows bunt, and that gets away from Emma Kauf. And LeClaire will move up to second. The hit in 15 of her previous 16 games as that one is skied in foul ground. Alyssa Daniel underneath it for out number one. Payoff on repeat. Off the fist, straight back. Kauf able to track it down for out number two. Ayah Acuna, who is out for the season after suffering an injury last weekend as that one is skied. And Alyssa Daniel again makes the catch for out number three. So despite getting the lead off. And Delgado draws a leadoff walk. Go hey, two. Went around for strike three. One, two on repeat. That one mashed deep into left. Down the line and gone. Ariel Carlson with another big swing this weekend. And the Ducks jump out to a quick two-zip lead. Three, two. Dribbler over to second. Two down. This one also deep into left. Down the line. Off the foul pole and gone. Oregon continuing to swing the big stick. Two home runs here in the bottom of the first. This time, Valerie Wong's fourth dinger of the season. Payoff home. Goes down swinging. Into center, charging in, and making the running grab. Hannah Delgado for the first out. Player of the year back in 2022. High chopper over to short. Paige Sinicki. Two down. Popped into right. No and she'll get a one, two, three top half. Got her swinging. Strike three. She'll record the strikeout. Jumps on the first pitch over to third. Across the diamond. Lissy over to LeClaire for two. Two's home. On the move to second. Head first slide. And gets underneath the tag. Payoff home. And snagged over at first by LeClaire. And able to get to the bag. So the Ducks threaten with a runner in scoring position, but still a 3-0 game. 
damage has been done in the early innings. Shows bunt, lays it down. Daniel Humphrey. One out. Hanson with a 3 2. Got her looking. Hanson records the K. Audrey LeClaire will step in. Down the line, fair ball. And that will get all the way to the wall. LeClaire, hard turn around second. And she'll slide into third with a triple. That's a triple for Series at least. Walk off sack fly Friday night. And then able to hold off ASU last night. 3 0. And a four pitch walk. They could possibly get th some things going offensively. 1 2. Check swing over to third. Flannery across the diamond. Able to beat it out at first. Tanya Wendell showing off the wheels. And eight. Called out at first. State, Colorado, Arizona. Off the fist and blooped into center for a leadoff single. Things that kept me here at the University of Oregon. Ripped into right center and that will get all the way to the wall. Lou Shar will get held up at third. And Ariel Carlson, you know she loves playing in her hometown for her dream school. Another, Another native Oregonian out of Happy Valley. Played at Clackamas where she was a high school All-American and now caught in the rundown, Lou Shar. And she'll score. So the run taken off the board finally was told here in the press box that they were looking at obstruction in the base paths. Bring a Valerie Wong. Shows bunt, tries to go for the squeeze. And tagged out, trying to retreat back to third. Ariel Carlson. So now two down for Oregon. And now on the move to third, Daniel. Through the hole in the left, and Valerie Wong continuing her big afternoon so far. Another RBI gives the Ducks a 4 0 lead. RBI number 22. Two's home. Slow roller down the third base line in time for out number three. Well, the crazy base. bottom half of the third season. Sky deep into center. Backtracking Delgado right in front of the wall to make the catch. Delgado with the catch at the wall. Jordan Van Hook almost going yard again. And draws the walk. Kinch draws the walk. In the first practice after the opening weekend as he jumps on the first pitch, out at second as they turn the 6-4-3 double play. Again, that shows one of the top fielding teams. Of course, for Bartlett coming to ASU after a couple seasons as an assistant at Texas under former Oregon head coach Mike White. As Flannery gets on with a walk. During her junior year of high school, posted a 20 and 1 record as Humphreys bloops the first pitch and a diving grab out in center field by Kelsey Hall. To
Called strike three, got her looking. Again, a veteran presence on this Ducks squad, specifically with Hannah Delgado. And she goes down looking. Mika Lupi with a pair of Ks. Pops straight up. Hansen makes the squeeze for the first out. Hansen makes the catch for the out. Wanted to open up her recruitment process when she was approaching the end of her recovery process after suffering a torn ACL back in high school. 2 2 goes down Hacken. Strikeout number three for Hansen. High chopper up the middle, and that will get in the center field. And Jada Lewis extends this top of the fifth. Hobbs away, but right to the hot corner. Katie Flannery makes the grab. No runs, there was a hit nowhere. Gets the comebacker, one down. Loopy to the player for the out of first base. Soft hit, and blooped into center. Ariel Carlson with another Here's solid hit. And Bobble over at second, but able to recover. And going to first, Libby Walsh, Walsh for the second out. Out in front of that one. In the left. Lushar gets underneath it for the first out. Lushar makes the catch. The thought of what if I try being away from home to play college softball. Over to second. And they got her. Again, has a lot of speed on the base pass, but not able to get there. And she'll get on base after getting plunked. Then hook hit by pitch. Kinch jumping on the first pitch. But making the grab right in front of the warning track. Ariel Carlson. Carlson makes the catch in right field. Oregon looking to put more runs up on the board with a four-run lead. <laughs> Into left, and Emma Kauf leaves the yard. The solo jack for her second long ball of the season. Doesn't matter if it's in the ACC or in the Pac-12, she continues to produce. Off the end of the bat. And takes a hop to get into the outfield. Libby Walsh not able to get a read on that one. Called strike three, says she went around. Again, a 5 0 lead for Oregon. Over to third. Out at second, as ASU turns the double play. 5-4-3 to send us to the top half of the seventh. Last chance for the Sun Devils. Over to third, across the diamond, one down. O2 again. Chases the high stuff. Two down. Popped up and foul ground. And making the grab, Alyssa Daniel as the Ducks get the sweep. Oregon wins the ball game five to zero. Five nothing win today here in game three. As the fans stuck around throughout the 40 minute weather delay.
And Oregon takes care of business. To go to seven and two in Pac-12 play, now in sole possession of second place in the place our terrific Pac-12 network crew. I'm Ben Crane saying so long from Eugene, where the Ducks get the sweep over the Sun Devils. So long, everyone.